feeling unseen, unheard, undervalued, like you're lost in the crowd, struggling to make your mark. But what if you held the key to unlocking your true worth? What if ancient wisdom could propel you to heights you never dreamed possible? Forget fleeting trends and empty advice. This is timeless wisdom for the modern world. Are you ready to unleash your true potential and become the most valued version of yourself? Then press play. Your journey to becoming remarkable starts now. Value your time. Valuing your time means understanding that your time is precious and should be spent wisely. It's about recognizing what tasks are most important and focusing on them first. For example, imagine you have a list of chores to do at home, like cleaning your room, doing the dishes, and studying for an exam. Valuing your time would mean starting with studying for the exam, because it's the most important task that will have a big impact on your future. Respecting your time also means saying no to things that aren't important or don't align with your goals. For instance, if a friend asks you to hang out when you have an important project due, valuing your time would mean politely declining the invitation so you can focus on your work. Another aspect of valuing your time is avoiding procrastination. Instead of putting off important tasks until the last minute, prioritize them and tackle them right away. This could mean starting your homework as soon as you get home from school, instead of waiting until late at night when you're tired and less focused. By valuing your time, you're showing respect for yourself and your goals. You're making sure that you're using your time in the best possible way to achieve what's important to you. This not only helps you accomplish more, but also allows you to enjoy your free time without feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Accepting nature means understanding that life is full of ups and downs, changes and challenges. It's like knowing that sometimes it rains and sometimes the sun shines. Stoicism teaches us to accept these things as a normal part of life, just like how trees lose their leaves in the fall, but grow new ones in the spring. For example, imagine you're playing a game with your friends and you lose. Instead of getting upset and throwing a tantrum, accepting nature means accepting that sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You can congratulate the winner and move on without feeling bitter or angry. Accepting nature also means understanding that bad things can happen, like getting sick or losing a loved one. Instead of dwelling on these things and feeling hopeless, Stoicism teaches us to face them with courage and resilience. It's like knowing that even though a storm might knock down a tree, it can still grow back stronger than before. For instance, if you fail a test at school, accepting nature means acknowledging that failure is a part of learning and growth. Instead of giving up, you can use it as an opportunity to study harder and improve for next time. By accepting nature, we show strength of character and resilience. We demonstrate to others that we can handle whatever life throws at us with grace and dignity. This earns the admiration and respect of those around us because they see that we're not easily shaken by life's challenges. Listening more and speaking less means paying attention to what others are saying and truly understanding their thoughts and feelings. It's like being a good friend who listens when you're upset instead of talking over you. For example, imagine you're talking to your friend about a problem you're having at school. Instead of interrupting and giving advice right away, your friend listens quietly, nodding and showing that they understand how you feel. This makes you feel valued and understood because you know your friend cares about what you have to say. Listening more also means being patient and not jumping to conclusions. It's like waiting for someone to finish their sentence before responding, even if you think you know what they're going to say. For instance, if your sibling is telling you about their day, instead of assuming you already know what happened, you listen attentively and ask questions to show you're interested. By listening more and speaking less, we can deepen our connections with others and build stronger relationships. 
It shows that we respect their opinions and value their perspective. For example, if you're in a group discussion, listening more can help you understand different viewpoints and find common ground, leading to better teamwork and collaboration. Overall, embracing active listening means being present and engaged in conversations, showing empathy and understanding towards others. It's a simple yet powerful way to strengthen relationships and foster deeper connections with those around us. Always being yourself means being genuine and true to who you are without pretending to be someone you're not. It's like being comfortable in your own skin and not trying to fit into someone else's mold. For example, imagine you're starting a new school year and you meet a group of classmates who seem really cool Instead of pretending to like the same things they do just to fit in, you stay true to your own interests and hobbies. This authenticity helps you attract friends who appreciate you for who you are, not who you're trying to be. Being yourself also means being honest and transparent in your interactions with others. It's like being open about your thoughts, feelings and experiences, even if they're not always easy to share. For instance, if you make a mistake at work, instead of trying to cover it up or blame someone else, you take responsibility and apologize. This honesty builds trust and respect in your relationships. Authenticity is key to building strong relationships because it creates a sense of trust and connection between people. When you're genuine and true to yourself, others can see and appreciate your unique qualities and strengths. For example, if you're interviewing for a job, being authentic in your responses and sharing your true passions and values can help you stand out and make a positive impression on the interviewer. Overall, always being yourself is about embracing who you are and owning it with confidence. It's about valuing your own authenticity and staying true to your values and beliefs even when it's not the easiest path to take. By being authentic, you can attract genuine connections and build meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Letting others help you means being open to receiving assistance and support from those around you. It's like allowing a friend to lend a hand when you're struggling with something, knowing that accepting their help can strengthen your bond and make both of you feel valued. For example, Imagine you're moving into a new apartment and you have a lot of boxes to carry upstairs. Instead of trying to do it all by yourself, you ask your neighbor for help. By accepting their offer, you not only make the task easier, but also give your neighbor the chance to feel useful and appreciated. This simple act of accepting help can create a sense of camaraderie and mutual support between you and your neighbor. Accepting help also means acknowledging that you don't have to do everything alone. It's like recognizing that everyone has strengths and weaknesses, and by working together, you can complement each other's abilities and achieve more than you could on your own. For instance, if you're working on a group project at school, accepting input and ideas from your classmates can lead to a better outcome for everyone involved. By letting others help you, you not only lighten your own load, but also strengthen your relationships with those around you. It shows that you trust and value their support, which in turn fosters a sense of reciprocity and goodwill. For example, if you're going through a tough time emotionally, allowing a friend to be there for you can deepen your friendship and create a stronger support network for both of you. Overall, accepting help from others is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's about recognizing the importance of community and acknowledging that we all need support from time to time. By letting others help you, you can foster mutual support, strengthen relationships, and create a sense of unity and connection within your community. Staying calm and composed means keeping your cool and maintaining control over your emotions even when faced with difficult or stressful situations. It's like keeping a steady hand on the wheel when driving through a storm, 
knowing that staying calm will help you navigate safely to your destination. For example, imagine you're taking a test at school and you suddenly realize you've forgotten to study for an important section. Instead of panicking and giving up, staying calm and composed means taking a deep breath, focusing on the questions you do know and tackling them with a clear mind. This helps you think more clearly and perform better under pressure. Staying calm and composed also means resisting the urge to react impulsively when things don't go your way. It's like taking a moment to pause and think before responding to a challenging situation, rather than letting your emotions dictate your actions. For instance, if someone says something hurtful to you, staying calm and composed means choosing not to retaliate with anger or hostility, but instead responding with patience and understanding. By practicing self-control and maintaining composure, you demonstrate inner strength and resilience. It's like showing others that you can handle whatever life throws at you with grace and dignity. For example, if you're faced with a difficult decision at work, staying calm and composed allows you to approach the situation with a level head, make rational choices, and effectively solve problems without becoming overwhelmed. Overall, staying calm and composed is about staying in control of your emotions and reactions, even in challenging circumstances. It's a valuable skill that can help you navigate through life's ups and downs with confidence and poise. By practicing self-control and maintaining composure, you can handle adversity with grace and emerge stronger and more resilient in the face of adversity. Keeping some things private means being careful about what personal information you share with others to maintain your privacy and show respect for yourself and others. It's like keeping a diary where you write down your thoughts and feelings, knowing that not everything needs to be shared with everyone. For example, imagine you have a crush on someone at school. Instead of telling all your friends about it, Keeping some things private means keeping your feelings to yourself until you're ready to share them with someone you trust. This protects your privacy and prevents unnecessary gossip or embarrassment. Keeping some things private also means being mindful of the impact your words might have on others. It's like thinking before you speak and considering whether sharing certain information could hurt or offend someone else. For instance, if a friend confides in you about a personal struggle they're facing, keeping some things private means respecting their trust and not sharing their story with others without their permission. By exercising discretion and keeping some things private, you show respect for yourself and others. It's like setting boundaries and respecting the boundaries of others, knowing that everyone deserves to have their privacy respected. For example, if someone asks you a personal question that makes you uncomfortable, keeping some things private means politely declining to answer or redirecting the conversation to a more neutral topic. Overall, keeping some things private is about maintaining a sense of dignity and self-respect, while also showing consideration for the feelings and privacy of others. By exercising discretion and knowing when to keep certain information to yourself, you can build stronger, more trusting relationships and create a culture of respect and privacy in your interactions with others. Learning and growing continuously means making a commitment to always seek new knowledge and improve yourself throughout your life. It's like planting seeds in a garden and nurturing them so they can grow into strong, healthy plants over time. For example, Imagine you're interested in learning how to play a musical instrument. Instead of giving up when you encounter difficulties, learning and growing continuously means practicing regularly, seeking guidance from teachers or online tutorials, and gradually improving your skills over time. This dedication to learning allows you to become a proficient musician and enjoy the rewards of your efforts. Learning and growing continuously also means being open to new experiences and challenges. It's like exploring different hobbies, interests 
and opportunities for personal development, knowing that each new experience has the potential to teach you something valuable about yourself and the world around you. For instance, if you've always been curious about photography, learning and growing, continuously means taking a photography class, experimenting with different techniques and honing your skills to capture beautiful images. By committing to lifelong learning and personal development, you can expand your knowledge, skills and perspectives in all areas of your life. It's like investing in yourself and your future, knowing that the more you learn and grow, the more opportunities you'll have to succeed and thrive. For example, if you're interested in advancing your career, learning and growing continuously means staying up to date on industry trends, acquiring new skills and pursuing professional development opportunities to enhance your expertise and marketability. Overall, maintaining a sense of mystery is about balancing transparency with intrigue and knowing when to share and when to hold back. By sharing selectively and leaving some aspects of yourself shrouded in mystery, you can keep others interested and engaged, while also maintaining a sense of respect and dignity for yourself.